we're having dinner one time and um this black guy woke up to like he was passing by and he goes oh sister you need to be with a brother i was like well i got my brother right here what is up everybody today on your favorite christian anastasia is back and we're answering the question how did our family really feel about the two of us being in a relationship <laughs> Okay, everybody, so as you know, I am Christian. And I am Anastasia. And we are married. And if you didn't know yet, I'm white. And I'm African. I'm popping. Which means I'm black. No way! This is insane. I'm just discovering this on this blog. So because of that, we do get a lot of questions from folks being like, what was that like? Were there any issues? How did your parents feel? Did your friends accept you? What did your friends say when they found out that you were dating a white man? Have you ever received any pushback? Did your parents want you to date African? Did your family be like, yo, are you really about to date a black chick? So we are here to answer all these questions and more. We are going in. I said praise the Lord! <laughs> A lot of people want to know, did you have to like go to your parents and be like, so mom and dad, I'm dating this black chick. Did you have to say that? Fortunately, in my family, it, it's not really a big deal. It's not a big thing. It's never come up. It's never been a topic. So that's something I think that you and I have talked about where for other people who are happen to be an interracial couple about, so how do you bring it up? You do kind of have to read your family and know the kind of conversations that have happened throughout your life together. And that conversation has never come up. So it never crossed my mind that I would have to prep my parents or my family because they just might not be ready for that. Also, maybe I should add on to it. If you guys do not know, it will be in the, another video where we talk about how we met I met Christian family first. But stay tuned for that one. Yeah, we're not gonna get into it today. Not today. Not today. Not today. How about for you? Did you feel like there was any preparation you need to have with them before you brought the six foot six no, so, um, white guy over to your place? No, I think I think my mom, my mom more of like, she likes tall men. Yeah. <laughs> He's six six, if you guys don't know. And I'm five two. So I did not have to prep my parents like Christian. I didn't have to do that at all because my parents have never sat me down to say you have to date someone from Ghana or Africa in general or a black man in general. They never had that conversation with me. Right, the conversation wasn't there. So yeah. for anyone else who might be thinking about having the conversation, read your family well, read the context well of what you're getting yourself mm -hmm. into because if no one brings it up, nobody cares, so don't bring it up. Yeah, <laughs> but, but if you are raised in a family where they want you to date particular race, our advice to you is you just don't show up with the other race that your family do not like. If you really, really care about what your family think, you know, there are people who don't really care what your parents say. But if you are one of those that really cherish what your parents say, just don't show a guy who is from the other race that your family do not like. You need to prep your family ahead of time because the person will get to the house and they'll be very uncomfortable because we know how this goes. Like you show up and be like, Mommy, so this is my boyfriend and your mom does not like white men for you. It's not gonna look pretty. So prep the prep your family first. I do know that from my limited experience here that the Ghanaian culture what you've told me before is that they are much more accepting or it's never really become an issue that you've ever witnessed. Like the culture yeah. itself is very accepting and open to other cultures and to other races. So I, me knowing that yeah. really reduced any kind of kind of consciousness of it. Anytime I've ever gone out to, when we were dating, mm -hmm. to Ghanaian okay. events like, where yeah. usually I was the only white dude around. Mm -hmm. And I wasn't really conscious of anything because what you had prepped me was no one really cares. No one really cares. And that's what I'm used to. Now, if you Ghanaian and you have family that really do not accept for you to date other race, leave a comment below. But from my experience, I've never come across anyone that had told me that their family told them to date someone else. Okay, so your bestie crew, mm -hmm. they're mostly all from African countries. Mm -hmm. but do they say anything like, mm, how's that going? Is he a little weird? You know, what's going on? Uh, actually, no. So my friends are very open-minded. They really didn't care. I was dating a white man. Um, and I would say maybe my close, close friends, my besties. But I have other friends who are like, so how is he? And I'm like, what do you mean? And they're like, how is he? You know, like, intimately. Like, That's the question you get. 
That's the question I got in the beginning. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He left because he couldn't take that question. But we don't have to worry about that part. So how about you? Were you guys used to like interracial dating? Out of all the folks I hung out with in, in Los Angeles, that we actually, there was already a lot of interracial dating, which is not strange for Los Angeles. Again, I think it's your context. So in LA, it's no big deal. I mean, the color that really matters there is green. I will say that there was a time where my mom did sit me down and she did say, you know, that not everyone is going to really be cool with this and agree with this in the world. So just to prepare me, so I, which I thought was great because maybe she could see how we grew up in an area and a family where no one really cared about it. I mean, in middle school, where I went to middle school, kids were, there was Asians dating Latinos and Latinos dating whites and white. It was just where we grew up, so it wasn't that big of a deal. But then I think my mother just wanted to prepare uh, me for that. And I think that's helped us because when we, it inevitably does happen. We go outside, people say comments mm -hmm. here and there. Uh -huh. uh, a lot, yeah, from both sides of the community and... Uh, White, black, they always, you know, most people have something to say. They got something to say and I think that you're prepared for that so it's just like you have some thicker skin and yeah. so you just laugh it off and then you have to choose your battles. I mean, sometimes... Sometimes you just, you know, I had someone, we're eating, we're having dinner. We are having dinner one time and um, this black guy woke up to, like he was passing by and he goes, oh, sister, you need to be with a brother. I was like, well, I got my brother right here. But you're right, I had a white man come by one time and he said something like, you need to white up or something like that. And I was like, <laughs> white up. Yeah, great. Sorry, boo boo. So, all right, brother. This girl ain't changing her skin to yeah. white up. <laughs> Lighting these vlogs, lighting OMG. these vlogs in an interracial couple. If you are a couple and you are lighting these vlogs for yourself, will you please leave a comment on how you do it? Because it's so intense, especially when <laughs> someone is not just light skinned, my wife is dark skinned, and I'm olive at best. And boy, man, it let takes us know. For, it takes forever. So check it out. So in the videos uh, below that are popping up on your screen, we got some other videos we did concerning uh, me eating Ghanaian food, uh, tips oh, about wait. marriage, stuff about our Ghanaian wedding. Uh, so check that out and then stay tuned for the video that's gonna be about how we met and how we met each other. It's a very sacred story. All right, subscribe, uh, hit the notification bell because that will let you know every time we drop a new video every single Monday. So happy you're here at Your Favorite Christian. God bless you and we'll see you on the next one. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm not